And so we pray that we can accept uh, love, the love of God that is shared through Jesus, but the love of God that is shared in so many different ways. In driving across the country a few times, I think I've shared before how I would try to notice every topographical change. And so I'd have this funny conversation with God and I'd say, God, why did you put that rock there? It looks like it's gonna fall off any time. And who could be destroyed? What animal or person might be destroyed by that? And I could hear God saying, Roman, don't be ridiculous. That rock has stood there for millions of years. It hasn't moved. And I don't think it'll move for the foreseeable future. So that's not your concern. Just admire it, okay? It's my handiwork. Ta-da! Or driving through the canyon west of Denver. The majesty of it all. And I'm thinking, if God could create this, how can I have any doubts about Jesus being truly present in the way that we are invited to believe he is truly present? Or the Grand Canyon, um, Yosemite, my gosh, you go through that majestic area, um, or even the foothills, whatever the case is. Um, Anyway, just another thought about how we might be able to, in other ways, find our way, and I know I'm talking to the choir, uh, other ways in which we can help others to say, you don't believe in the real presence? Come on, um, just look around. Look in the mirror. Look into your eyes. You can't see God's presence within? How long can any of us look into our eyes in the mirror? Because it gets unnerving because we are seeing God. We're created in God's image. So if we look at our image, we're bound to see God. And of course, some people, oh, that's so vain. Well. That's the way people want to look at it and get, away, get around it. Why not? 